What's up everybody, it's your girl Glenda and we are back for another video. If you would like to be part of the G-Squad, I don't know why you wouldn't wanna be, but all you have to do is click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you are updated every time we upload a video. Um, and to all my old G-Squad, thank you guys for coming back. We truly, truly, truly appreciate your loyalty. Um, thank you guys for liking, sharing, commenting. I enjoy speaking to you guys. So make sure you keep those comments rolling. Make sure you keep sharing the videos. And make sure you keep clicking the like button. Now, on today's video, we got a new one for you. This is a recipe that I am putting a twist on. But the base of the recipe does not belong to me. It is... Um, potato and cheese enchiladas. It's a little different from what I am used to. This recipe came from Simply Mama and um, I actually told her I would shout her out. So hey girl, hey! And uh, thank you for the recipe. The twist that I'm putting on here is I'm using my chili sauce. So essentially this is a meatless um, recipe but I'm actually adding my chili sauce to it. Everybody has seen my cheating chili sauce, so let's get into this video. So what you see here in this pot, I have, um, I don't know how many potatoes was that? Like six? And again, you need to tailor it to your family, but I had six rusted potatoes that I peeled, washed, and they are in water, salted water. Um, and what you want to do is bring these to a boil until they are just fork tender, okay? So, we'll be right back with the next steps. Hey everybody, so we are back. The potatoes are fork tender and they are actually draining and cooling off um, in the strainer over the sink. You don't want to handle them when they are too hot, so best to let them cool. We're on to the next step of our prepping and what we have in this pan is a couple of teaspoons maybe maybe a tablespoon or, or two of olive oil whatever oil you have will suit you just fine I have some corn tortillas right here some corn tortillas and they are just my store brand store brand um, H-E-B yellow corn tortillas. These are my favorite. I don't know, they just cook, they cook up well when I'm doing um, enchiladas. So those are just my favorite. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just toss these into this oil here. And you're just gonna do a quick in. The potatoes are cooling and straining in the strainer over the sink because you definitely don't want to handle them while they are too hot. Um, and so in the meantime, we have our olive oil in this little pan here, a couple tablespoons because all we want to do is take our corn tortillas and put them in our pan real quick like. Don't do this with your hands, you guys. I'm just... I'm a little bit, <laughs> oh no, I'm a little old school, I guess. But I'm gonna take the tongs <clears throat> and you just wanna make it till it's pliable. That's it. Let me take this little piece out. Just a real quick. And this is what they look like here. Cook enough to um, for your for your actual dinner. So I'm gonna keep going on these because that's definitely not enough and we'll be back and I'll show you how to put these together when we come back. Alright y'all so we are done making our 
corn tortillas over here. Right now, I did add a little bit more of the olive oil to this pan. Same pan we did the tortillas in. And what I'm gonna do is I have some pre-cut um, onions right here. And what we're gonna do to these is just kind of saute them because this is going to be added to our potatoes. As I was telling you, this essentially is a meatless recipe. Um, but of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't put a twist on the recipe. That rhyme. It wouldn't be me if I didn't put a twist on the recipe. What? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'm back. So, it wouldn't be me if I didn't put a twist on a recipe. So, according to Simply Mama's recipe, you guys can go check her out. She has wonderful, wonderful recipes. Uh, um, when, she, when I get to a particular portion after preparing, rolling, and all that, you're going to put enchilada sauce. I'm going to put my chili meat sauce. So, I'll let you know when that comes up but all we want to do is just saute these get a little bit of color on them if you if you um prefer that and um these onions will be added to the potatoes so once we're done with this we'll be right back and i'll show you how to put it together okay we are back and here's my um uh, container here of the potatoes I had and more than likely because I'm always doing too much um, I probably have too much filling however all you're gonna do is just take your fork you don't want these to be like mashed up like mashed potatoes you're just gonna take your fork because they are fork tender and you're just gonna just mash them down So this is about where I'm going with this. This is good enough for me, for right now. So what we're gonna do is, you remember earlier I grilled some, not grilled, but I sauteed some onions. Here are the onions that I sauteed. So we're just gonna go in. They are still kind of warm. So I'm just gonna go in with those sauteed onions and I'm gonna take some mild cheddar cheese please you guys use the cheese of your preference if you don't like mild cheddar and you like sharp cheddar go for it if you like Gruyere or goat cheese or you know whatever go for it this is your recipe um, well I'm not gonna say your recipe but I'm gonna say this is it's your kitchen your way all right, so you put as little or as much cheese as you like. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you guys know I salted the water for these potatoes, but they definitely are gonna lack some seasoning. Not much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken bouillon to it. Again, this is just my little twist. And that's probably a teaspoon and a half or so. And I'm also gonna add some garlic powder. Another teaspoon and a half or so and I'm also gonna add some black pepper to this mix all right so let's mix this up So we're gonna put this to the side. This is what it looks like. 
kind of look like some eggs with cheese in it, but. All right, we'll put that to the side. Come over here with our empty pan because now we're going to, excuse me y'all, that pepper got me sneezing. We're gonna go ahead and stuff our enchiladas. I am sneezing like crazy y'all, I am so. Okay, got my gloves on and I'm just gonna go in with my filling. You put as little or as much as you like. So we can get a good picture of this for you. And you're just gonna do the old tuck and roll. Seam side down. Okay, so we are back. I have rolled all of the potato and cheese enchiladas. I have some uh, freshly grated mozzarella cheese right here. And then of course I'm going to include the sharp cheddar. But the first thing I'm gonna do is top our, um, top our enchiladas off with my chili that I made off camera you guys can go check out um my other enchilada video where i show you how to make this cheese i think i have a video just on cheese and chili probably i don't know but it's gonna be in the i-card you can check the i-card right up here all right so we're gonna top this off All right, so this is going into a 350 degree oven and we're going to um, leave this uncovered. If I'm not mistaken, Simply Mama covers hers. But I'm gonna leave this uncovered. It's got quite a bit of um, chili in there. So we're gonna leave it uncovered until the cheese is nice and bubbly, all right? All right, you guys, so we are back. This is the first batch right here and this is the one with the corn tortillas and it looks absolutely delicious y'all it smells so good what we want to do is you want to take this out of the oven this has probably been in the oven what 15 minutes 15 minutes or so um, I'm gonna cover this and let it rest you want it to rest so that when you take it out everything doesn't fall to pieces and fall apart so we're gonna let this rest probably another 15 or 20 minutes yeah check out the flower ones omg that looks absolutely delicious i can't wait to get into this so uh this is the end of this video if you made it to the end of this video you are the real mvp of the g squad make sure that you like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more videos and see what you're cooking glenda we will see you next time you guys love y'all talk to you later thank you all for watching this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe join the g squad this is the best cooking channel on youtube and here are our subscribers of the Day. So our first subscriber is It's Me Tracy. Thank you for commenting. Then our next is Roach, What You Cooking Roach and Patricia Brown. Thank you also for commenting. And Mrs. H, thank you all for commenting. Make sure you come back next time on another episode of What You Cooking Glenda. Bye bye.